something we can help you with? No, I don't need any help. I'm just uh, down here to take some photographs at the post office. Sure. No, we're not allowed to film inside a government building. Why is that? It's a, it's a, a law. We're allowed to have any filming inside the... the you're, you're not allowed to? No, there's no filming allowed in the government building. No, this can't be. It is true, sir. No. So I'm going to have to ask you to turn the camera off inside, please. Oh, I can't do that. Then I'm going to have to ask you to wait. My off button is broken. No, it's fine actually. I uh, have to respectfully decline. Okay, Chris, can you call 911 please? Nine. Hi, good citizens. Thank you for coming to my channel. If you are a first time viewer, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for future video notifications. This video is from my YouTube channel, Other in Erie County. The original link is in the description. Please subscribe and give credits where credit is due. Guys, when you are done watching this video here, please don't forget to post your comments. And as always guys, if you would like to support my channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the video. Let's get it into. Down here today it is October 23rd. Down here in Palmyra Post Office. Down here for a civil rights investigation and First Amendment audit. Make sure they respect our rights inside this here post office. Pretty good. Good. Is there something we can help you with? No, I don't need any help. I'm just uh, down here to take some photographs at the post office. Sure. No, we're not allowed to film inside a government building. Why is that? It's a, it's a, a law. We're not allowed to have any filming inside the... the you're, you're not allowed to? No, there's no filming allowed in the government building. No, this can't be. It is true, sir. No. So I'm going to have to ask you to turn the camera off inside, please. Oh, I can't do that. Then I'm going to have to ask you to wait, please. My off button is broken. No, it's fine, actually. Um, your rules and regulations got in the post office right on the wall right there, if you'd like to read them. Uh, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I will leave as soon as I am finished taking my photographs. I'm sorry. Are you the postmaster? I'm not the postmaster here, no. But I'm going to uh, have to ask you to leave. I'm um, going uh, have to respectfully decline. Okay, Chris, can you call 911, please? 911 for taking a photograph? Have him, uh, he's trespassing. Trespassing for taking yes. photographs in a post office? Yes, sir. This I apologize, it's not my rule, but it's a rule. I don't know where you're getting this rule from. Do you know the rule? The law or anything? I'm gonna ask you to leave, please. I know you asked me to leave. Respectfully, I'm declining to leave okay. because I'm not, done, right I'm not done with my business. Like starts. I told you already, your rules and regulations guiding, you know, what what kind of can't be done on this property is right there on the wall. Okay. And the rules say I can take photographs in here. No. Yeah. It's right here. Sir. So it's like right here, you can read it. Then you can right. call 911 and tell them that they're fine. 911 is on the way. Four. It is illegal to film in the postal service, in a government building. Are you the postmaster? No, I'm not. The rules and regulations in the post office are right here on the wall. It says I can. So you should probably stop calling the police. It's kind of silly. Well, when they come here, they'll discuss it with you, sir. You're, you're like eight feet away from the rules. You don't want to read it? Are you the postmaster, sir? I'm acting. Yeah. Acting postmaster? Acting postmaster. You guys just call the cops, but like your, your rules and regulations are right on the wall here. It says that photographing is allowed in here. Uh, so. I was always taught that we were not allowed to uh, film, especially in the post office, but... You should probably call the police back and tell them not to come. No, you can't, trust, you you can't trespass and you service. can't... Um, yeah, if you're right not here, here to do business with the Postal Service, I... Photographs and for news and advertising, commercial purposes, photographs... Are you with the news or yeah. advertising? Yeah. Oh, where's your press credential? Oh, yeah, it's right here. <laughs> no kidding. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, I love this book. It's on uh, law number one, First Amendment. Yeah. Freedom of the press.
You're going to call the police back and tell them not to come? Freedom of speech. You are trespassing. You know, there's five elements of the First Amendment. It's freedom of speech, freedom of religion, freedom of the press, right to petition, redress of grievances. Sir, 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 <laughs> you're going to learn today you do. I, who is he? You're the acting postmaster. Aren't you his boss then? No. No? No. Who is We're he? actually co-workers. He's also acting postmaster? Uh, no, no. That's not his position. So yeah. how does uh, someone... And above the postmaster in here. I, it's not that kind of a hierarchy. And no, it's we all like work that. together to try to deliver the mail. So. Right. Well, you just read the photographs are allowed me for news right, and yeah, I, advertisement purposes. I guess you're, I you're still going to stand by this guy? I guess I disagree with your purpose here, but uh -huh. I'm, you know, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it calls a lawsuit. You're in a public place, so yeah. you're not going to record. Okay. As long as you're not in the back. Yeah, I don't want to where I was. Restrict the access area. Right. Yep. Cool. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, you're good. You're talking about a law. Yes. Appreciate it. Hey, can I just yeah. get your name badge on real quick? Officer Becker from IRPD. Thank you. Hey, your phone's in the way. Oh, it's back there. It looks like Stacker. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Got it? Yeah. Got it? <laughs> gotcha. Thank you. Yep, yeah, got one. Are we all cool, Scott? About the mistake. No, I, I yeah. got it. I just you were cool about it. Him, no, I, he was kind of a dick. Hey. <laughs> but like you, you were you were cool about. It. I tried to explain that like, you guys the, the rules are on the wall. Like, yeah. I just want to make sure that you guys are never gonna do that again. I didn't know you were a uh, press agent. <laughs> uh, everybody is. Yeah. Well, so the First Amendment grants freedom of the press to everybody. So, um, the way the law sees that is that if the public is allowed there, so yeah. is the press. Yeah. And every member of the public is the press, right? right? If you have a Facebook and you post stuff out there, you're the press doing that. You don't even realize it. So if you have a Facebook or if yeah, you have an Instagram you yourself, in your, uh, when you, first, when you tweet friends. something or, or you post something on your social media, you're actually doing that under the freedom of the press. That's unstoppable. But um, I appreciate you. I yeah. hope Scott... Uh, What's your name? My name's Dan. Hey, Dan. I'm Chris. Chris. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. But yeah, you were pretty cool about it. I, I know yeah. that uh, it's, it's him, I, I try to tell you him, you know? Understand. From my perspective, it's weird being uh, filmed, right, while you're just doing your job. Right, so, right. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't really come in here and start filming you guys. Yeah. I was checking out the signs and stuff like yeah. that, getting the uh, signage and that, and Would just make sure. Would you think it was strange if somebody came into your work and started filming you while you were doing your job? Well, you see, that's, that's, that's where it differs for me, because the way I see it is this. When you work for the public, yeah. and you're working as a, a public agency, you have sure. to understand that you are, it's constitutionally protected activity to come down here and, and inspect and see how our workers are working as, you know, Taxpayers pay the, yes. the for the I, bill I, and the public totally property, agree. and that and uh, so like, if I worked in the public sector, meaning work for the government in any facet, I I should understand when I took that job, and they they should probably train yeah. a little better that it's part of the duty that you right. know being filmed is is part of that. But like, I own an auto repair shop now. Somebody came to my auto repair shop, thought, started filming me. Yeah. I'd probably laugh about it for a little while, yeah. but there I could trespass somebody without you know. It's a difference, but oh, I appreciate you. I was going to say, I am going to be engaged yeah, in some, You're, pre uh, you're pretty cool. Stuff. I'm all set here. I got all my photos I need. And, uh, all right. You tell Scott I said hey. All right. Scott all right. says hey and have a great day. Hi. Unit number two. May I sit down? Hey. <laughs> They probably figured it out real quick. Oh, yeah. Scott didn't want to come out and apologize. The video depicts a First Amendment audit conducted at the United States Post Office. The auditor asserts his right to film in a government building, setting rules and constitutional protections. Employees of the post office initially opposed his actions, mistakenly claiming film in prohibited the call to police, who eventually uh, confirmed that filming is allowed in public areas of the post office as outlined in their posted regulations and supported by constitutional rights. Despite being show evidence, some employees remain resistant, 
resistant to acknowledging the auditor's right to firm. This is some lessons learned from this video. Number one, public space and constitu constitutional rights. Public spaces, especially those managed by government agencies, generally the permits, activities protected under the First Amendment, such as filming for news purposes. Number two, awareness of policies. Both employees and the public should be aware of uh, adhering to establish policies such as those visibility posted in government buildings. Misunderstanding or ignoring these can lead to unnecessary conflicts. Number three, rule of law enforcement. Police officers play a critical role in interpreting, interpreting uh, and enforcing the law during disputes. In this case, law enforcement clarified the re regulations highlighting the need for informed and impartial uh, responses. Number four, importance of education. This interaction underscores the need for better training for, for public employees to prevent misunderstandings and unnecessary escalations. Number five, civic engagement. The auditor demonstrates how individuals can use their knowledge of laws and rights to hold public officials and count accountable uh, fostering transparency and accountability. Number six, respect in disputes. Will asserting we are right, ma maintaining a calm and respectful demeanor helps facil facilitate productive dialogue, dialogue and resolution. But that's going to do it for this video. Much love to our another video. Make sure you use the link in the description to show them some love. And check out his most recent videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you in the next videos. Bye.